John Payne, the author of This Week in Grains and Oil Seeds, our guest today. John, let's talk about uh, the acreage of our major grain crops because we continue to see uh, really the, the market signal that it needs more acres. But if it's going to take more acres, it has to take it from somewhere. Where right. might that be? What do you think on, on pulling acres into maybe corn and soybeans this year? Yeah, so if you know you want to be a bear, and it's hard to be a bear right now, but if you're going to be a bear, you're going to start towards acreage. So you know you're going to estimate that by the end of June, when the planning numbers come out, farmers planning you know post to post here, uh, what does that total number look like? So we we were up around 178 million if you added corn and beans together in the last report. Uh, if that would creep up closer to 185 million, that's kind of magic in our opinion. It's like wow, where did these come from, and not lose anything. Uh, that would be a surprise. I think more likely you're going to see less cotton acreage competing with soybeans in the southeast, milo in Texas, and just overall, you know, bullishness in the corn market anywhere else. Uh, and then in the spring wheat sector up in the Dakotas right now, you know, they're they're going to chase those markets as well. And uh, it's it's going to be a tough, tough year if they don't get rain. And the the big weather problems right now are on over the spring wheat territory up into the Canadian prairies and. You know, it's been maybe a month since some significant rainfall in a lot of those areas. The planting pace has been really, really fast, and that tells you how dry it is. So mm. I think at this point in time, that's a market I think that could really be explosive when you start looking at less acreage, continued demand, and less yield. That's 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 been the story in these commodity markets. When you see that happen, soybean oil, copper, you really see some explosive upside action. And, and that's uh, that's something that I think you can expect if, if it doesn't rain at all, you know, and, and the patterns don't change. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, John. Always appreciate your insights. Yeah. We'll be back with more Ag Day coming up in just a minute. To find John's newsletter, This Week in Grain and Oil Seeds, head over to www.thisweekingrain.com.